Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to add windows and doors to our house. So let's get started. I have my perspective view expanded here and you can do that by hitting um, Alt W on your keyboard and notice that all you have to do is hover your mouse over a viewport to expand it. Now I'm still in vertex mode here and that means I can't select any other object in the scene or do anything other than to this roof that I have selected here. So to turn this off I can do a number of things. I can click here and just turn it off. I can come up here and click at the top level here and turn it off. Or I can right click and use the quad menu and select top level. Now I can select other objects in the scene. So we're going to work on the house base itself here. And I want to demonstrate some things to you about what we're doing, so I'm going to hide my roof. I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to right-click and select Hide Selection. I can also come over here to the um, Scene Explorer and simply hit the little eyeball. Now remember in the last video we deleted the uh, roof and the floor. So when we add edges to these polygons, they're just going to be on these polygons. They will not continue over to the other wall. So we can have entirely different configuration on both walls. And that's one of the reasons we did that. Now your house can look however you want. Um, I'm going to uh, create a door on the end of my house here. And um, maybe a couple of windows on one side and uh, a door on the other side or something I haven't decided yet. So what we're going to need to do is define a polygon area here that will encompass the door. So to do that we're going to use a tool called Swift Loop. And Swift Loop can be found up here in the uh, so-called graphite modeling tools up here at the top. And you can't really see them yet because you gotta click this tiny little button right here to open them up. And when you do, you will see Swift Loop right here. Now, some of these tools are not available anywhere else, and Swift Loop is one of them. When we turn on Swift Loop, you will see that as we hover over our object, what's happening here is it wants to put a loop on the roof that is hidden. And that's because we have it selected over here in the scene outliner. So let's select the um, house base, and you'll see now that we can add loops to the house. So we need a uh, top to our door here, so I'm just going to click about right there. And notice this loop is not straight. It follows the line, the outline of the roof up here, and we need to straighten it out. So I'm going to turn off Swift Loop and get my Scale tool and scale in the Z-axis only and click, keep dragging. Just hold your left mouse button and drag, and you will see that that straightens out that edge. And then I'm going to get my Move tool and move it up. Now, if for some reason you deselect part of this edge, you're going to do something like that. If that happens, just simply double click on the edge and that will select the whole loop and then you can move it up and down. I think I'm going to put mine about right there. And now I'm going to put a couple of loops here. So I'm going to get Swift Loop again. And this time I'm going to hover over sort of in the area of the bottom edge and try to put a edge loop like so. Now this doesn't carry over to the back side of the house because we deleted these polygons on the top and the bottom. So now we have edges that we can extrude. So let's turn off Swift Loop, switch to polygon mode, select both of these polygons, make sure you have the move tool selected, and then hold down shift and drag inward and you will extrude the door inward. And we're not going to add any more detail to this door because we're going to use a texture to make it look like a door. And now let's create a couple of windows. Get Swift Loop again. And I'm going to change the default color of my house so you can see it a little better. Alright, that's better. So I'm going to put some windows on the side here. I'm going to put one here and then maybe one here. Now I also need a bottom to my windows, a bottom edge, so I'm going to click about right here. And now I have polygons here and here that I can extrude in for my windows. 
So I'm going to turn off Swift Loop. And I think I'm going to grab, I'm sorry, I switched to edge mode and grab this edge and move it in a little Double click on it to select the whole thing and move it in a little bit. So it's the same size as the other one. Then I'm going to click this polygon, hold down control and click this one. And then hold down shift and extrude those in a little bit. Now on this side of the house, I think I might want a door and a window. So I'm going to get Swift Loop. And I'm going to click here and here. And then I'm going to click here and here. And then I'm going to switch to polygon mode and turn off its uh, Swift Loop. I'm going to grab this polygon and hold down control and grab these two. And if you move them by accident, simply hit control Z. And then I'm going to hold down shift and move that in. Now that doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense to me to have a door there and there. So let's maybe do that the opposite. But I'm going to move this edge in a little bit to make it narrower and move this one out, out a little bit to make it more square. And so now I have windows and doors. Now I could, and I think I might, put a little square window right here. Just like so, because I think I might put a fireplace in this area later. Okay, so now we have windows and doors on our house. I'm going to click the little eyeball in the Scene Explorer to bring back the roof. And when we come back, we'll add more detail to the house, and I'll show you some different ways to do that. And I'll see you then.